Hi there, everyone. This is Dr. 2K7, a.k.a. Sound Sky Chasers. I hope you're having a fantastic Monday. So, remember that video I made about Rachel Nichols, the Rachel Nichols, uh, Maria Taylor situation at ESPN? Oh, well, it's gotten a little crazy. I can tell you what, ha what happened to her, but uh, first I want to give it up. Well, ESP, well, former NBA player St Steven Jackson has come out in, uh, running for de running for defense for Rachel Rachel Nicholson and say and said that ESPN gave Maria Taylor a sympathy job. I'm reading this off the Spun from Sports Illustrated. <clears throat> All right, here we go. ESPN Rachel Nichols has been put through the rigor rigor ringer for her comments about Maria Taylor back in 2020. Former NBA player Steven Jackson has come has since come to her defense. In a newly released video on Instagram, Jackson says Nick Rachel Nichols uh, deserved that job, which ESPN was wanting was wanting to give to Taylor. He also went to say went on to say ESPN was trying to give Maria a sympathy job. Applies he didn't earn it like Rachel Nichols. <clears throat> he said, and I quote, We all rabbled and we say things when we're frustrated. And Rachel did did deserve that job. It's just plain and simple. I've talked to Rachel and I know a lot of things she, she was saying out of frustration because ESPN put her in a bad position and they, and they put, and they even put Maria in a bad position by trying to get Maria a sympathy job. They were trying to make themselves look good because of the Black Lives Black Lives Matter and George Floyd stuff was going on. I mean, he's not lying on that one. It, it's not lying on that one. <laughs> I mean, even someone actually uh, come out. Stacks five said it is, but Adam, you can't. You can't come back from your statements. You clearly tired of Black Lives Mattering, not not the organization which I don't support. So your job shouldn't matter to LeBron J to King James. I hope you move move on from from you clown. I mean I mean that we're tired of you, bro. Be gone. Love to Rachel Nichols and Maria Taylor. ESPN. This was a setup. <sighs> Stephen Jackson knows Rachel Nichols pretty well. He worked with the analysts on the jump alongside Nicholas for years. Jackson has since gone on to leave ESPN and now co-hosts a podcast along with Matt Barnes. That podcast will be all the smoke. Jackson's latest comments surrounding Nicholas are eye-opening, to say the least. Nicholas has been put through the ringer over the past two days, but perhaps ESPN should be receiving more of the blame. The worldwide leader in sports pitted Nicholas and Maria Taylor against each other. We have a hard time to believe ESPN couldn't have found two prominent roles for the both of them. Well, here's the sad. Well, here's the worst thing about it for Rachel Nichols. She bent the knee to the to the woke overlords at ESPN and issued an apology on this on this Monday's the jump, jump. I mean, to say that. To say that ESPN didn't have her back, didn't have her fucking back, would be the understatement of the fucking year. But given how ESPN's uh, top executives are nothing but fucking spineless fucking cowards who don't, who only, who's more concerned about what what idiots, what the eight percent of fucking idiots on Twitter will do to them, will do to them if they don't do anything that's that's old man. That's saying something. And uh, and honestly, I'm not really too... I'm, like I said, you know, this is ESPN's fault. It, they decided to go down this route. They decided to do this. if And, and for what? So, so they can get, garner some Twitter likes and all that other crap? <sighs> Please. This, see, this is why ESPN... This is why people don't like to watch ESPN. Yeah, because they're too much. They're so full of shit. They oh, they don't talk about sports. They always want to talk about stupid things about race, color, gender, systemic racism, uh, social justice, whatever bullshit. Because, because to them, that's way more important to tell us the highlights or the highlights of the game or sport or inspiring sports stories and everything. 
But anywho, what's done is done. What's done is done. Rachel Nichols got punished severe. Scott punished. She bent the knee to the overlords and issued an apology. Issued an apology. So don't be too. So I'm gonna say this. Don't be too surprised when um when you hear the news that Maria Taylor got a got a um, new contract that's worth eight million dollars. Getting that Stephen A. money. I don't blame her though. <laughs> I, I mean, heck. But, you know, these are just my little two thoughts on this one. But, two thoughts on this one. But I would like to know what your two sets of the whole thing is. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your significant others, and uh, that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sonic Sky Caesar. Thank you for taking the time out of y'all busy schedule out of y'all time and busy schedule to watch this video and that's about and that's about it until until next time this is Dr. Atuk7 aka Sauce Guys is signing off catch y'all later god bless you all F god bless you all fuck you fuck ESPN and also fuck you Stephen A. Smith for shitting on Milwaukee you're just He's just mad that he's just mad that the Bucks are in the NBA Finals, and then and his press is Nick Saint. That's all I'm gonna say.